Hey y'all, today on the farm, I'm trying to set a new record. I'm gonna shell over a hundred bushels of peas by myself with no labor. I didn't bring in any labor today. Normally when I'm shelling peas, I have uh, two or three teenagers helping out in the shelling plant. It takes several people to run the, the shelling plant to deal with customers and all that goes on as involved with processing uh, these peas. But what we have now is peas harvested yesterday. I've put on the floor and blown air across them all night so they will shell easier. I didn't call any help in. I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if I can shell 100 plus bushels without any labor. My store is not open today, it is closed. And so tomorrow we will open for the first time for the produce season. We will have peas for sale and hopefully I won't have any labor cost in shelling them. It will just be my own time. Y'all didn't get a video last week because I was really, really sick. I was in bed. It was not the sickest I have been in my life, but it was the longest amount of time I've ever been sick. During that time, my dad came out and helped finish the wheat harvest. And once the wheat was in, he come out here and no-till planted grain sorghum. You can see the row right here. Here's rows uh, all out here. And we got a good stand so far. So that, that worked out uh, thus far. It's a long way to go, but we did no-till plant grain sorghum and we do have a good stand out here in this wheat and we will see how that works no-till is not really not really common down here that's all the straw that come off of the wheat so i sold the the wheat itself the grain itself uh, a good bit of it i saved some that i will sell for cover crop seed so if you're looking for some cover crop seed i got it in the bin and it is for sale uh all this straw is already sold I, the person that uh, i sold it to rolled it so i sold it untouched he come out here and rolled it and moved it out of the field and then i just get a check for it i like that kind of math i get less money than i would if i rolled it myself but i have no work involved in it just it all gets done and i get paid your mama and them and all that kind of stuff and uh so it prevents me from getting work done so the plan this year is we harvest the next day or the next day we shell and the third day we sell we don't harvest shell or sell on the same days it's harvest air blows on the peas overnight next day we shell with the store closed which is today and then tomorrow which is saturday we'll be open and we'll be selling to the public and we will continue this three-day rotation throughout the season not open on sundays or picking hopefully on sundays but the rest of the days we're either picking shelling or selling and i think it's a lot more uh get a lot more done this way i have already by myself no labor today it's 224 and i have shelled cleaned and bagged 74 bushels by myself no help on a normal day with me paying three or four employees and customers come in and out we'd be about 45 right now so it's a lot more efficient to keep the customers not in the store while we're working and once all the work is done we open the store up 
We'll sell taters tomorrow, what's left of them, and we'll sell all these peas. We'll, we'll sell out of peas pretty early, I believe. I think we're gonna have about, I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna be over 100 bushels for sale tomorrow. We will sell out probably by lunch. That's all, I mean, almost nothing good in there. All the bad is separated out. No good peas are rolling off in there. I got a few little things like this, little holes I'll kick out of here, but it's doing pretty good. And you'll notice there are no stung peas in here. the day to go into the shelling. Now we gotta let the sheller clean out, get all that stuff shell. We're still over here cleaning pieces of the cleaner. Got this this slam full. But we're getting close y'all getting close. I think it's about 5 30 now. We're getting close to the end. That is it for the day. That's the final five and a half bags. I shelled today 149 and a half bushels of pink eye purple hull peas. My wife came midday for about two, two and a half hours and helped weigh them out and bag them up. But other than that, I threw them in the shelter, threw them in the cleaner, stuck them in the bags. Couldn't have got it done though without my wife. I've been on, on down here a little, little while longer on into the night. So that's a big help having her come by. Tomorrow starts pea season. We're going to open up the store tomorrow. We're going to sell all of these peas and all them taters you see sitting up there. But the good news is we're going to have plenty more peas. So if you don't get out here tomorrow, which will probably be the same time this video airs, if you're not here then, just come on by later on, like maybe on Wednesday or Thursday or next weekend. We're going to keep selling peas. We're going to keep shelling peas. We're going to have peas and butter beans. Right now, we just have the pink eye purple hulls, but maybe midweek. Next week, we'll start with zipper peas, which is my favorite, and we'll move into the cream peas and uh, on into butter beans from there. And we're going to keep on with peas and butter beans all the way to August, y'all, because everybody likes peas. Everybody likes the peas. So y'all come on out here, visit us here on the farm, see the farm store, and get you some peas. I thank all y'all for watching. Hope to see you next time.